Hello, in this video I will talk about how you can represent different colors in Matplotlib and how you can change up the, uh, the colors of your plots. Uh, so if you call um, plot functions multiple times, how you can assign different colors to these, uh, to these plots. All right, so first of all, as you might have noticed already, if we just call um, a plot function, so like scatter or plot or uh, bar or whatever, um, it will introduce a new color every time you call that. So these are um, color cycles. And in the background, matplotlib has um, a color palette defined um, with colors that it will pick one after another if you call the plot functions multiple times. And uh, this starts with this blue, goes over to orange, green, and so on. And these colors are defined um, in the background of matplotlib and can also be accessed using a special uh, name. Okay, but if you want to set your own colors, then you have to use uh, uh, one of three or actually four different methods to um, assign a color. Uh, the first one would be with just the names of the colors. So matplotlib has a couple of colors defined um, and some of the basic ones are actually defined by just one letter. So you have uh, these colors here, which you can um, assign by just writing a B or a G or an, uh, or something like that. Um, and, but you can also just write the whole name of the color um, to, to set the color of a certain function call. Um, and matplotlib actually supports all the colors uh, that are allowed in the CSS or HTML. And uh, there's a link here to the full list of 147 color names that are available in matplotlib. But if that is still not enough for you, then you can also choose your own um, color values using a hex value. Um, and these hex values are just basically a hex visualization, so hexadecimal visualization um, of three bytes. And these three bytes correspond to the red, green, and blue channel. So, um, yeah, you always have to write this hashtag in front of the um, hex value, and then you just write the three bytes. And um, in this case, for example, here, the first one we have uh, the first byte is zero, then the second byte, the FF, is 255, and the third byte is also 255. So, again, we have FF. And um, Using these hex values, we can set different colors um, to these lines here. And um, if you want to know more about how you can create these hex colors, uh, you can have a look at this Wikipedia page about the hex triplets and um, yeah, how you can create these uh, hexadecimal representations of colors. Then next up, we can also assign a gray value um, as our um, plotting color by using uh, just the string of a float. And here you um, basically just use a string and you can put in uh, 1.0, for example, or 0.5 and so on. And these uh, values will be mapped to different, um, yeah, different brightnesses for gray values where um, the zero, so this one here, the last one is black and a one would be white. So you can't actually see the first one. Um, it's not visible because it is just white and on the white background it's not visible. But um, the second one here with a 0 0.5 brightness or the last one with zero brightness, you can see them here. Okay. And then, um, yeah, one more uh, way of setting the colors of plots is using the uh, uh, RGB tuples or RGBA tuples. Um, and these are just yeah, creating a tuple with RGB values or RGBA values where the, um, these characters stand for red, green, and blue. And uh, the A stands for alpha. And the alpha um, option is um, not needed. But this will give you a way to create transparent plots. So the A, the alpha, um, yeah, describes the transparency of a certain plot while uh, RG and B describe the color. And uh, yeah, you just um, call the plot function and say color equals a tuple. 
and then in this tuple you have either three or four values and uh, they will be always in the same order so it starts with red then green then blue and if you specify a, a fourth value then this will be the alpha and these values should be floats between 0 and 1 um, and numpy, uh, not numpy, matplotlib will convert that to color values um, yeah, using normal RGB colors. As you can see here, this works and um, yeah, we assign these colors to different plots and this one actually, this cyan one, um, this is transparent as you can see and um, the, the one below is, has, uh, also has a bit of transparency and um, yeah, this was achieved by setting this alpha value and um, there's actually another way to set the alpha um, and you don't have to include it in this tuple, in the RGBA tuple but you can also just assign the RGB tuple to the color parameter and then uh, set the additional parameter alpha to some float value between 0 and 1 as well and then this will be interpreted as um, yeah, the alpha value of the color that should be plotted. Okay, and um, now we come to the cycle references that I mentioned above. And this is just the normal color palette that uh, Matplotlib uses. And if you call these uh, the plot function without any color, um, the color parameter um, passed to it, then it will use colors from this color uh, um, reference and um, yeah you saw that as well above and the way we use these colors directly uh, so the colors defined in Matplotlib's color palette is by uh, writing the C followed by a number and we set the color to this C2 for example which is the third color in the color palette um, because it starts indexing at zero and we can use these um, C number um, color names to get the uh, colors from the color palette and this can be quite useful if you want to for example have um, multiple lines but these lines uh, should be grouped into I don't know like pairs and these pairs should have the same color and then you can use the color palette ones here because there are they are uh, very common colors and um, yeah, easily distinguishable and you don't have to worry about uh, creating hexadecimal um, number um, numbers for your colors or um, yeah, thinking of these RGB tuples.